There we go. Oh, get her. Nailed the stick failure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day, I guess, three of the adventure, day two of hitting the water. We've just gotten up and had some... Uh, or not bacon and egg, egg, just egg wraps uh, for breakfast. We're just waiting on John's just setting up his tent to be sort of waterproof in case it rains while we're out. Um, and then, yeah, we are going to get out here, do a little bit more exploring. It's a bit of, bit of breeze blowing, so it's probably going to be a little bit lumpy out there. Uh, we we'll spend most of the morning exploring, just trawling around because that's where you can get the best sort of idea of like bottom and structure and different spots. Um, and then later on when the tide starts to drop, I think we'll probably all end up getting in and having a bit of the spearfish. So yeah, it should be an exciting day. Oi, come on, come on. Got something. Nice, uh, big red bass. You're gonna just grab that leader and just, you want to get in? Awesome man, so Hilly just drove us right up to the edge of this drop off. We got white water, and I just popped the stick bait into the white water and this guy came straight running out. Nailed the stick bait after a little bit of a follow. And yeah, good size red bass. Good, always good fun to catch, good flight. Can't eat these guys because of Cicatera. Um, well, some parts of Fiji they still can eat them. But yeah, let's get him back. Where should we go? Over here. Sure. On, on, on. Fish on. They are strong fight, man. Number two. Red bass, number two. Another pretty solid unit. So it looks like a pretty productive little spot here. So we'll, we'll just drift up and down this wall and uh, yeah, keep casting back into that white water. Skadoosh. Nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Look at the gun. Ah! Got the pipes out. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> he's Walu. Oh, he's calling it. Here we go. Good Walu. Yeah. Wahoo. Might be a Wahoo, is it? Okay, I'm not gaffing it if it's this. <laughs> Don't trust me. Wahoo, wahoo. Wahoo? Yep. We still got wasabi and uh, yeah. and soy to finish out. <laughs> nice wahoo. Yeah, boy! 
That's what we're talking about. Oh, this is because this is a Kandabu style. <laughs> Bula! <laughs> Holy smokes! And Illy. Bula! Just got a pretty decent meat missile. Check <laughs> that. Wahoo, baby. Alright, let's go get some more. Yep. Let's go get his friend. John is on, baby! <laughs> so John is on, and our camp wreck is there. Wreck it! Come on, John! Wreck it! Yeah. Wreck it! Whoa! This is just... This is dinner? Yes. Inside the ocean, just beside the island where we're camping. Why did we go so far? <laughs> Right, that's literally our, our camp is right there behind that wicked shady tree. We can just stand from the sand and cast it from here. Huh? <laughs> Did you see it when it came up then? What yeah. was it? Wally? Yeah, the one. Oh, dinner just got a whole lot better. It's a baby shot. There we go. Oh, dinner. Winning. John winning. for the, John for the <laughs> late afternoon win. There we go, baby. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Honey, we're home. Hey Bula Bula, welcome to Fiji where everybody loves to get wet! <laughs> We're cleaning the fish. We're drinking the beer. Cleaning the fish, drinking the beer, same time. <laughs> On Fiji time. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> What do you got there? Uh, sweet lips. Sweet lips? Sweet lips. We call it Fiji Seva Seva. This how's one. It, how's it taste? Ah, delicious. delicious. How are you going to cook that? Chef uh, Billy tonight. We're going to grill it. A tabu. And then we have lemon and uh, chili. Goes together. We'll show you the photo later when, it, uh, when it's done. Sounds like a plan. Looking very good. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze some lemon on that, Tasty. a little bit of chili. Right, test it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this oh. a camping video or is this just a cooking video? <laughs> I don't know actually at this point. <laughs> at this point I don't know. We've just done Michael Ramsey's <laughs> cooking channel. <laughs> <laughs> We've really been focusing on eating well this trip. No, we're focusing on what we get to Prepare make, it properly. Make tea properly and eat it properly. <laughs> and we give away the A grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really do. Give away the A grade and... Turn B into A grade. Turn B yeah. and C into A. Chili, lemon? Yeah. All right, what's happening here, Eli? We got uh, chili, lemon, and uh, water, salt. So we take the fish and dip it in here. This is in Fijian way. And what do you call that? Um, this is what we call it uh, in Fiji. We call it Waikul Koli. Waikoli Koli. Yeah. And so the chilies just marinate in the juice, or you break them up? 
you all break them up break it all up in the lime juice and then the lime, the juice. lime juice we squeeze it together and we got some onion to go into yeah some onion and so you oh they're the real do they have real deal limes yeah not the bush lemon no we are talking about real thing here. We're going fancy. We're talking about real thing here. Real thing. <laughs> I was just about to say, you guys who are regulars on this channel would see the, the bush lime that we have in Fiji. It's green on the outside, bigger than this, but when you cut it open, it's like almost like a lemon on the inside. But these are actual limes. Yeah, it's this one there you're talking go. about. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. So this is when you've seen my Kakonda videos and stuff. This is the one I use because we had these growing at our house everywhere so it was easy so we'll check back in in a few minutes and see how this is looking Luxury. We are living in the luxury hotel. You know what I was just thinking, Illy? I've got a lot of uh, Fijian followers yeah. that originally from Fiji live overseas. Oi. And yeah, when... they're going to like it. <laughs> they're going to like this yeah, video. Yeah, this is the Koconda <laughs> Tabu. Ika Tabu with the uh, Molly Rokete. And uh, some onion, woo, seva seva, and nguru. Sa em ama, sam sandengi. It's gonna be let them go. Go. Okay. Woo. Ambandua. So over the last year or so, I've had a few of you guys reach out to me asking, you know, why'd you start the YouTube channel? What's it all about? Um, and so I thought I'd just, I guess, let you know because we're in a bit of evolution stage at the moment uh, with Immersion Fiji. So back in the middle of the pandemic when things were going crazy, I was looking at on social media and I was just seeing all the the crap that was happening in people's lives. You know, people in lockdown, stuck in their houses, not being able to get out. And I guess I felt incredibly, incredibly privileged to be able to live here in beautiful island paradise, I guess. And um, almost felt a little bit guilty that I was able to still go about life as normal while the rest of the world and my friends and family and social media contacts were all really, really struggling. So. I decided to start the YouTube channel so that people could escape the lockdown, the, immense, the, the mental sort of stuff that was going on, even if it was for 15, 20 minutes and just, you know, watch these videos and, uh, you know, teleport, I guess, out of the living room to, to another place and, and get some entertainment and some relief from, from the madness. Um, and that was all awesome. And then what actually started to happen was many of you guys reached out to me saying that's exactly the sort of stuff that you want to do you know so many people love fiji travel to fiji do the whole tourist thing and you know i was one of those guys before i decided to move here um why not you know it's a beautiful place the people are amazing 
Um, but I don't like, and if you're anything like me and can relate to this, I don't like just hanging out in resorts. Like, my wife and I would go to a resort, you know, you get the cocktail, you hop in the lounge, you sit by the pool, and five minutes in, I'm like, right, what are we doing? Like, I sort of, I need to keep doing stuff. Um, and I love stuff like this, like what we've been doing this weekend, just getting out and catch and cook type stuff where you're just camping, fire, sleeping on the beach, under the stars, that sort of stuff. I can't get enough of it. And so I thought, well, if I'm like that, surely so many other people are like that. And if what we did with the, with the videos during the pandemic while everyone was locked down, how can we take that to another level now that things are starting to open up and people can start to travel again? And so we thought, why not turn Immersion Fiji into exactly that? some type of adventure tourism type setup where people just like you can get out and do things like we've done here. Um, not just like, yes, come to Fiji and, and see part of the real Fiji, but get into nature and go and catch your food and camp on a beach and cook it in the fire um, and meet some of the local guys and see some of the local traditions. And even when it's a situation like this, coming to a, like a little remote island like this, you know, even going through um, like the protocol to be allowed to go and do something like this and, and have that cultural experience. So that's what we decided to do. Now, we can't do that by ourselves, so we've had to grow. We've had to grow the business, we've had to grow the team. And you guys have probably already seen him in this video, but I'm gonna introduce you to our newest team member, Iliesa, um, and he can tell you all about himself, where he's come from, where he's at right now and part of his vision uh, with Immersion. So here's Ili. Okay, Bula everyone. My name is uh, Iliasa. I'm just a local guy. I'm from uh, Fiji. I'm from the island of Mbulia, Honon, Kandawi. So I born and raised in the remote island, the beach like, where we use our life almost in the beach, in the ocean. Our source of income is also from the ocean. So we dive every day, we spear fishing, we hand line fishing, we trolling every day. So born and raised in the island, and then I become uh, gray, uh, becoming older, and then I jump onto tourism industry as for my source of income. So I've been boat captain, doing fishing, doing trolling to the guests almost uh, more than 10 years I've been doing that. And now I met a guy, he's a uh, owner and founder of Immersion Fiji, his name is Mike where I've been joining him now. So he's love fishing. So I can tell you, your passion and your love fishing, any kind of fishing method, here in Fiji, there's called Immersion Fiji, is providing you that kind of fishing method or fishing passion, what kind of fishing you love. I tell you, come and join us, that we can show you what the real uh, life is, living in the remote island like this, doing fishing, come and cook your fish, in the in the fire or in smoke what kind of uh, method we use in a local way we can show to you to come and enjoy it here in fiji immersion fiji is the best is the best company to help you out to experience the better local life living in the remote island and enjoy the life they do they do still never found it come and join the immersion fiji we're gonna show you how the real local life living in the remote island like this. So it's so amazing to be able to find someone like Ilya. So we've been looking for a long time, like four months. We've been looking for that perfect person to, to join the team, to be a part of what we're doing, to have the same passion that we have for the ocean, the environment, the Fijian people and the Fijian way of life. Um, and to find Iliesa is a blessing, an absolute blessing. He's like a brother already. Uh, we've been doing some amazing things, as you guys have probably seen in this video and, and others. Um, so it's exciting to, to have him a part of the team, a part of the Immersion family. And we're excited to hang out potentially with you here in Fiji, having a total Immersion experience in one of the best places on Earth. Bula! Bula. Beginning of day three, we packed up camp early this morning, cleaned up everything, 
uh, went to the village, picked up John's uncle, and now what we're going to do is just slowly make our way home. We're going to troll uh, along the reef and uh, mark some spots, look for some fish, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully catch some fish to take home. Like this trip's been more about scouting out spots than anything. Um, but yeah, we, we obviously want to make it worthwhile as well and and take a couple of fish so for our families. So we have gotten off to a cracking start. John has opened the account this morning already with a really nice wahoo. So I'll share that with you now and then I'll see you back here. It's early in the morning, you can see the sun just uh, rising up. See how strong this uh, fella is. Looks like a good fish, John. Another wahoo. Yeah. yeah. Double hook up of Wahoo guys. Four door. Bro, this is the real deal. This, this is one. the real freaking deal, baby. Huh? Turn this one off. 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 Really? Ooh. In that yellow bucket, there's a little rubber stopper for the bottom of this rod. Because it's about to dig through my. Yeah. He used the casting rod to ke catch the wahoo. Oh, it's come off. Oh my god. Oh. Bring him up. 
It's too short, yeah. You have to make uh, like uh, two meters next time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this isn't the rod really for it, is it? <laughs> We initially thought doubles on Wahoo, yeah. Um, yeah. but then as it was deep, it was st oh, I could feel mine deep and the head shake, and then when it started to swim in that, that clockwise direction, I was pretty certain it was a yellow fin, and yeah, sure enough. We went back over the patch where we got those couple of yellow fin there and never actually had any luck. Um, so knowing that we had such a long trip home ahead of us, uh, we decided to pull the pin and, and make our way home. And having such a long trip home, we had plenty of time to just reflect over how much of an amazing experience it was for those three or four days hanging out there and in a remote group of islands, camping on the beach like that. Um, you know, catching world-class fish and, and just having an absolute blast. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like, that really helps grow the channel, helps get a bit more exposure. And if you wanna see more of this type of stuff, um, you know, absolutely subscribe. We'd love to have you a part of the Immersion Fiji YouTube family. We have plenty more videos, plenty more adventures like this planned, uh, and we're gonna share it with you right here. Thanks so much for watching, guys.